This is how to participate in StarAR.us. Art teachers will help their students make history by contributing animations to the first ever augmented reality barn quilt trails in your area. Augmented reality, or AR, is still a new and contemporary art form that superimposes a digital layer on top of a trigger image. Simply put, for your barn quilt artworks to be put on the Star AR map, student artists create animations, which are the digital layers for the AR, and the art teachers use iJet Creator to generate a QR code from the animations and trigger images. Teachers then compile their local barn quilt trail information into a document and send it to Star AR contact at gmail.com to be added to the map. It's important to have a launch party exhibition and invite a local mayor, contributors, and the media to celebrate student achievement. Pictures of the barn quilts and their triggers are displayed and student leaders can guide participants how to use the iJack app viewer to see their augmented reality animations. The interactions between the adults and the student artists are priceless. The students are knowledgeable and the adults are supportive of the students in their community. The Star AR project and exhibition is memorable and provides an opportunity for students to really interact and contribute to society. Contributing to society is a national art standard for which the accompanying Star AR lesson plan is built around. The lesson plan can be adapted to fit any skill level and use any animation technique. This tutorial will offer testimonials, highlights of the lesson plan, stop motion animation demonstration, and how to use iJack to ease your learning curve. What do you think? That's cool. It is super cool. Have you ever seen it do that? This is the first time in the world. Hello. Hey. What do you think about all these barn quilts? I think they're pretty darn cool. You guys did an amazing job on all the animation. Thank pretty you. Impressive. And she looked her right in the eye and kind of grabbed her arm and said, you know, you were the inspiration behind all of this. Well, it's just very great. It's uh, very good for tourism, for people driving through the countryside to be able to experience to see these quilts all around and uh, know that they were designed by the kids. And, uh, so it's just, it's just very outstanding. We had a lot of fun with it and a lot of fun working with Lori Shriver. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we just wanted to give an experience to other kids and adults alike. We just, we, we wanted you, to guys, you guys to be entertained and it seems like we exceeded. You succeeded. What about you, darling? Um, when we, when we like took some pictures, and yeah. we, like on the papers, and we like hold it down like yeah. this. Yeah. Then our fingers were in the way, and oh. they kind of messed it up. Oh, so you don't? I'm not seeing any fingers in any of these no, designs. No, we need to delete then. the pictures and retry. Well, let me see your fingers a minute. You know, oh my gosh, they're wonderful. <laughs> we need to do something with fingers the next time. Look at these. Here are a few images that highlights the pointers of the Star AR unit. The complete unit with national art standards and day-by-day -day lesson plans can be found in the Teacher Hub section at the bottom of the StarAR.us homepage. The lesson plans can be adapted to students grades 3 through 12. Older students may wish to work with more advanced animation software, apps, or video editing techniques to take their animations to the next level. Our teachers could arrange a collaboration between grade school students and college level animation students to add more variety to the works and inspire art students who may wish to pursue animation as a career. The Star AR unit is intended to help art teachers educate their students with some history of the quilt patch, barn quilts, and AR animated barn quilts to be used as in-depth as they need to go with worksheets and essential questions for discussion and hands-on activities. Lessons include several links to short video clips of interviews that Ms. Shriver conducted specifically to make this unit successful for you. The interviewees are all Iowans and specialists in their field. The first lessons are on textile quilting and function, then evolves to painted barn quilts and aesthetics, and finally to the digital augmented reality barn quilt, which is a brand new concept in the evolution of the quilt patch, and was the brainchild of art teacher Lori Shriver. All student artists who contribute animations to Star AR can have bragging rights that they are part of the contemporary art evolution of the barn quilt using the newly accessible digital art media of augmented reality. Star AR is an opportunity for students to display their work in public.
Though most barn quilts are rural, augmented reality is newly being used in urban street art. Youth from all areas need opportunities to shine and creatively contribute to their communities, and Star AR can work anywhere. The vocabulary words may be used as a pretest to see what students already know, then could be added to the word wall for students' reflections. These will be a mix of different mediums, tools, and techniques. It will start with textile art, then go to barn quilts, and then to augmented reality digital barn quilt vocabularies. One fourth of this would be 16 and three fourths, because this whole entire thing is 33 and a half. So half of that would be 16 and three fourths. Whether or not students create their own barn quilt or use the public art of your local barn quilt trail, which ideally you've gotten permission for, there is a lot of skill building and problem solving in this RER unit that can really challenge students whatever level they are at. After the lessons on how quilts led to barn quilts, students will begin designing their module squares for their stop motion animations. For students who are just learning geometry or who struggle seeing geometric shapes within the quilt patch square, you may help them by creating a coloring book style contour shape of the quilt patch on a worksheet. More advanced students may make this worksheet themselves filled with copies of their barn quilt module, either by gritting out the design or by tracing a photo of the image. Always start with the image of the barn quilt, ideally between 2.5 to 3 inches square in size. Either through the Star AR lesson plan or by experimenting, it is standard for students to find or create meaning. It's important to have students who are willing to explain their meanings to each other in small groups such as this. Um, my meaning is parts of the family, um, when they uh, get together and they start to spin, aka bond, and after a while of spinning slash bonding, they will turn into one type of family, one big family. Great, thank you. What about yours? What's your meaning with yours? Um, so my favorite color is lime, um, black, and blue. Lime, black, and blue. Why are those your favorite colors? Black because um, it makes me feel like claustrophobic and I like to be claustrophobic. I don't know why. Lime because um, I don't know why, it's just bright. Okay. And blue, it's kind of like it's one of the first colors. It's actually on the walls in my room. Okay, very good. What about your meaning? What do you have here? Um. So this um, flame print sort of is like the light and um, shining through, and then the sky is starting to cover it. Uh, what do you guys think about these ideas? Um, I think they're really cool. Like I like how if you like combine them to make a different color. And hers was really detailed. Same as Very good. Thank you. Anything else? I'm done coloring. <laughs> Finding meaning was also discussed during the quilting part of the lesson plan and the barn quilting part of the lesson plan. Students found it fun to get to choose art mediums they wanted to work with, and if they messed up, they found new life in the module, making it into something. They were just asked to try to keep with the integrity of the original barn quilt design and make it their own. Students with access to art apps may elect to figure out a digital approach to animation, such as using drawing apps or apps that create some sort of distortion. No matter the approach, stop motion animation is captured in a series of photographic pictures known as frames, where the modules that students create from their worksheets are divided geometrically and moved in various ways. You may look up the principles of animation for more information on types of movement, but since our stop motion animation is more two-dimensional than three-dimensional, we only used a few which I let my students identify and name versus just telling them the names. So I'll let my students explain what stop motion animation is about and how it's done. There are many ways to create a barn quilt animation. It's all about layers. We used various mediums such as markers, fabric, felt, transparencies, colored pencils. And here are some examples of how the images you create can move and be layered. The basic motions we focused on were directional movement, twisting, and flashing between two images. We also tried to connect meaning to the colors we chose and movements we used to animate. Once students' modules are created, it's time to start the lesson on stop-motion animation. It's best to demonstrate this the day before so students can come to class knowing exactly what to do and have a large span of time to do it in. I offered my talented and gifted students leadership opportunities to do demonstrations for their peers and answer any questions which may arise when technology is new. We use Samsung tablets and an app called Stop Motion Studio, the one with the pink icon in the App Store to create our animations. Students need to work together in pairs or threes when they are capturing stop motion footage so they can keep the tablet steady while they take turns playing the director and producer. There's a feature on the left hand side of the screen of Stop Motion Studio called the onion skin. It can help you line up your previous shot in case you move. Editing was easy with Stop Motion Studio too. 
This was an exercise in fine-tuning one's work for presentation. After calibrating the settings, it's best to have the very first few shots be of the actual barn quilt design so it transitions well into the animation. Multiple shots can be taken at a time between very short movements. Aim to have about 400 to 800 frames total at the end of the video and set it at a playing speed of 7 to 24 frames per second to make the animation look smooth. Good communication between the director and the producer should be discussed. Okay, so here are the ELP students, fifth grade, Hi. who are going to show us how to do an animation. For our stop motion animation, we will be using Stop Motion Studio. Once open, click the plus button. Dismiss any pop-ups. Go into settings, and it looks like a gear slash flower. First thing you should see is a speedometer, which looks like a gauge or timer, set to 15 frames per second. Then you click the third icon. It looks like a rectangle. You got to change it to square format. That's the third option. Then click the 4K icon and change it to SD. You're done with that, so then you set up. Prepare your shapes for animation. Select a large map, and it's a background color, any color. Make sure your arms are at your sides so you're steady. To focus, tap on the screen. To take the picture, press the red button without your fingers in the picture. Move, next, move your shape to the next position. The shorter the movement, your smooth, the smoother your transition is going to be. And to delete poor pics, cl click on the frame and press the trash can. Delete in the lower right hand corner. Push the play button, which is below the red recording button, to see our animation. Huge thanks to the talented and gifted kids at Starmont School for that excellent tutorial. Next, you're going to learn about how to work with iJack. In order to create an iJack augmented reality animation, uh, the first thing you need to do is log into iJack. And once you have logged into iJack, then you click Artworks. Um, and then you choose create a new artwork. And then when you get there, what you're going to need to do is to upload your trigger image and then the animation that goes with that trigger image. So to upload your trigger image, uh, you click this box or you can drag it there. Um, and I've selected um, a PNG file. You can also use uh, JPEGs here. So you select that um, and then you hit next. And then on the next panel, you would need to add your animation. Um, so I click that and I have an animation to choose. Um, and then I'm going to click Create. And you can also add sound here if you like, but we don't have it for this one. Um, and after I click Create, it's gonna take a little while for it to uh, transcode the animation and to put it on the computer. So once you get here, um, this is the QR code that um, is gonna be needed for iJack. So you can either, at this point, you can either take a screenshot of the QR code here, um, or you can do it later, but you're going to need the QR code to send to um, the host of the Star AR website. But once you hit done, um, then it shows you your artwork um, and you can share it if you like. Um, you can edit it if you wanna change the photo or the animation. Um, and if you wanna get back to that QR code, you can hit preview here um, and that will show you that image again and the QR code. Um, and if you have a phone or mobile device that has iJack on it, um, you can then um, load iJack, scan the QR code and then hold it over the trigger image. And that should give you a preview of what the animation would look like. Um, but again, for now you would want to um, take a screenshot of this QR code um, if you can only do a screenshot of your whole computer, then you want to crop it down to just um, what's inside this square box here um, and then send it to the Star AR team. Generating the QR codes through iJack and creating a brochure for your barn quilt trail signals you are ready for a fabulous launch party where you can celebrate this truly community building event. Make it special by inviting contributors, send out a press release, and don't forget to send your brochure to stararcontact at gmail.com to get your Star AR barn quilt trail on the map. Here is a test run. This is the old uh, train depot at Dow's, Iowa.
and it used to go all the way to Cedar Rapids. What a lovely train depot. So I'm here to test out the Star AR Augmented Reality Barn Quilt Trail of Wright County. This is our first stop, and this is a beautiful museum. It has a gift shop, lots of artifacts, wonderful architecture, and I'm going to scan the pamphlet for this site, and then I'm going to go out here and then try it on the outside of this amazing building and see if it triggers for us. Ah, there it goes. Look at this. Lovely. Oh, and that's too far away. <laughs> you and your students can feel proud that you have contributed to an augmented reality contemporary art attraction in your area. And the AR experience is extra special because it is still quite a novelty. When locals are supportive of a creative youth project like this, it draws families to want to live and grow with that community. Star AR has sparked renewed interest in barn quilts because they see new possibilities. People report spotting quilt patches everywhere, which is evidence of their growing appreciation of art. Some are inspired to paint their own barn quilt. Maybe they'll try to break Nebraska's record of the biggest barn quilt measuring 24 feet by 24 feet. Speaking of friendly competition, what if we decide to make Iowa the state with the most augmented reality barn quilt trails because it is piloted here first? Experiencing a Star AR road trip leads to a family-friendly scavenger hunt together, not to mention seeing interesting architecture, spotting wildlife, and visiting the vibrant towns that dot the beautiful countryside. We hope you have found the Star AR tutorial helpful, and we look forward to your participation. Happy travels!